Hey guys, welcome to our brand new listing at 14877 Gilly in Hazlitt, Texas. We're gonna turn the camera around and take a look inside. All right guys, it is hot today, but we are out here because I wanna show you this house. Really nicely maintained house, really cute. Three bed, also has a study, so you could use it as a fourth. Uh, a couple bathrooms, a garage is slightly oversized. The owner still has some stuff in there. Don't worry about it. I wanna show you a couple of things in there that gives us a little bit more room than you would have in your typical garages of this uh, type of house. So here we are at the front. Beautiful flag, I love it. And check out our clouds today. That just makes my my uh, videos look that much better. So we're on a corner here. And then here is what the neighborhood looks like. Uh, we got a moving tra trailer in front of the house right now, so we're kind of skipping right past that. Got a little patio. Y'all know how I like a front patio. It's small, but you can get a couple chairs in there. You can get a small bench in there. You can sit, drink your coffee. See this right here? This looks really nice. So I like that little patio. Get to know your neighbors a little better. I also really like where, uh, also they did some rock work here. I also like when the garages are on the front of the house because it gets to know your neighbors a lot better. So here's our front entryway. So we have a side light here and a, and a up light there. And here we are inside the house. All right, so as we get in, so the house has been moved out of, so it's uh, empty right now, just recently. At the front of the house, we have a study. So it's, you could use it as a bedroom. I'll show you the doors here. You could easily use it as a bedroom. It just doesn't have a closet, so we're not calling that a bedroom. We're calling that a study office flex room, whatever you want to use, for, use it for. A couple of nice windows here. Got a fan, vaulted ceilings. Tall ceilings throughout. Dining room, it's opened up right here. And here's our kitchen and living room. We're gonna go into that a little bit more in depth in a moment. So the garage, what I want to show you here, ignore, they still have stuff in here, not a big deal, but see the space between the end of the garage door and the wall? It looks like a little bit of space, but it's actually quite a bit of space, which I like. Gives you extra room to put stuff in. Let me get the, get the light off. It just gives you a little bit more room on each side of the garage when you pull your cars in. So here to the right, we have two more bedrooms in the living room. In a bathroom, I'll show you that. And here's our living room and kitchen. Fireplace here, space for a TV right here. Fireplace, fun thing about the fireplace I wanna show you. Check this out. I'm kind of an old school, traditional type uh, fireplace guy until I got a fireplace like this. Now I love these, and the other ones are awesome too, but I really like these because you can turn them on for a couple hours, turn them off when you go to the store, or go to work or whatever. In the winter, I love those. Quartz countertop, white cabinets. Here's the quartz countertop for you. Got good windows throughout. This goes to the backyard, so backyard here, side yard here. We got the master, let's go to the master, then we'll go to the secondary bedrooms. I like the little hallway, a little hallway in there. We also have to our right, coat closet. Some builders in this price point are skipping coat closets. And you don't know, notice it until you uh, try to put your coat in a closet. It's all ceilings in here too. You got can lights up top, which I love. And just in case you're asking, they are on a separate light switch. Get y'all straightened out. Two windows, nice symmetry, I like it. Here's our master, dual sinks, big tub, shower, good sized closet. Let's get a light on in here. Oh, nice. Water closet, right here. Now, let's go over to the secondary bedrooms and let me show you those. 
So we have our laundry to the right. I really like this. It's separate laundry. So you're not having to go through the closet in order to, or not through the closet. You're not having to go through the garage, through the laundry room to get to the house. I really don't like that. Uh, when we're looking at houses, I really like these laundry rooms that are separate because you can be in here doing your own thing and you're not in any of one's way. You can throw the kids, you know, laundry in the corner if you need to when you're processing it. And it's just a really, it's a better functional use. So we have kind of a Jack and Jill here. It's not true Jack and Jill, I'll show you why. But we have a living room, bedroom, and another bedroom. So I really like this second living room. It's two living rooms on one story, which is really awesome. So here's bedroom one with a step-in closet. Here's our second bedroom. This one's just a, this one's not really a step-in or walk-in. It's just one of the, the closet style, but still plenty of room, lots of things to hang stuff. Now, Jack and Jill is typically a bathroom between two bedrooms. This one is has bedroom on one side, and then it has, let me show you what it has. And it has a hallway on the other. So this is also gonna be used as like the, the guest bath or the powder bath or people are over here having dinner and stuff. This is where they would go. But check this out. Sink, shower, tub combo. So we got both in here. And then toilet and another sink. So if your kids make a mess, they use that sink where you have two kids and they both make a mess. So really good use of space. Again, over here, we've got another closet. Oh, look at that. I like that. Cool, that's fun. Kids backpacks, things like that. All right, so over here again, we have two bedrooms. That second living room, which I love, bathroom, two sinks, toilet shower, laundry room. And then let's go out back. So you got a covered patio, which is a absolute must in Texas. Because right now it's, um, I don't know, I don't know why I looked at my launch, it didn't have temperature. Uh, it's about a million degrees right now. But nice covered patio right here. Love it. Got a gas hookup right there. So if you want to hook up a, a stove or want to build an outdoor kitchen, that's the way to go. And then here is our backyard. So good sized backyard. Get over in the corner right here and I'll show you. All right, guys, so that is 14877 Gilly in Hazlitt, Texas, and it's a wonderful house. By the time you're seeing this video, we're gonna be on market. If you have any questions, there is a full listing. Let's do this so I can stand up straight. Cool, so in the description, you're gonna find the full listing information. So the prices, the bedrooms, the square footage, the location, all that stuff. We'll have a virtual tour for the property as well. You've seen this video. Uh, you can go to jordanbellinger.com. That's going to be in the comments as well, or then the description as well, talking about that. That is, uh, go to jordanbellinger.com if you want to contact me. You can also go to the website and you can set up an appointment that way. But if you have any questions on the property, you'd like to take a look in person, or you'd like your agent to set one up or whatever, let me know and we'll get it taken care of. So my name, name is Jordan Bellinger and I'm with the Cold Bike. We're going to try that again. My name is Jordan Bellinger. I'm with the Bacon Bellinger Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker Apex in North Texas. So anything you guys need, let me know. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye.